Come with me behind the scenes at the Lakers Warriors game. I'm Jovan Buha, Lakers beat writer for The Athletic. For those who are unaware, a beat reporter is a reporter who is on the scene on a daily basis, every game, including on the road, every practice, every shoot around, etc. We typically fly in the night before as game days are hectic enough. Shout out to Warriors PR for making things a little bit easier by sending us a packet with our credential and some peanut M&Ms. I'm a creature of habit on the road, so I tend to stay in the same parts of the city, same hotels. If I have enough time, I like to explore and go to local coffee shops. Uh, but with this being a 12-day trip, I went for convenience, went to Starbucks, went to Chipotle, uh, trying to get some protein in and eat reasonably healthy. Or at least that's what I like to tell myself. I typically get to the arena about two and a half hours before tip off to watch players warm up, speak with team personnel and other media members, and really just get acclimated. Starting about an hour and 45 minutes before tip off, we get to interview both head coaches, asking them about strategy, player availability, and the day's news. After that, the locker room opens up, but unfortunately I can't film that part. Then it's off to the court to watch players warm up. I got into a couple long conversations, so didn't get to film as much as I'd like, but here's Draymond Green. For someone who fell in love with basketball at eight years old, this is the coolest job in the world. I mean, just look at this view. Once pregame ends, it is time to get to my seat. Hey look, it's your boy. This is my vantage point for the game. Chase Center is no Roracle, but it does get pretty loud in here. By now you're probably aware of the final score. The Lakers beat the Warriors 145 to 144 in a double overtime classic. This move by Steph Curry was just ridiculous. That is arguably the best offensive player in the world going up against arguably the best defensive player in the world. Steph hit so many go-ahead buckets, but the Lakers responded every time. Here's LeBron James on the final play. He's gonna drive, draw a foul, and ice the game with two free throws. LeBron had a ridiculous stat line in this one, 36 points, 20 rebounds, and 12 assists. First Laker to put up a 30-20-10 since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in 1976, and the oldest player in NBA history to put up a 30-20 game. The Lakers have quietly won five of their last seven games and improved to 24 and 23. Following the game, it's time for the post-game press conferences. First, we speak with head coach Darvin Ham, then we go inside the locker room and speak with the players. The big post-game theme was the Lakers finally playing last season starting lineup of AD, LeBron, Vando, Austin, and D'Lo. That group was a plus 14 in 19 minutes and swung the game. Once the press conferences wrap up, it's time to transcribe and write my game story. Next morning, I recorded a podcast, and then it was on to Houston. Follow for more.